fucking bug in my face before I even get to do the intro. Jeez. Hey guys, I am your girl Kiki Soto, and that is Sky Pie Soto. And you know what? I'm not even going to stop and try to re-edit things because I got kids. So this is how it is. Um, welcome back to Urban Girl Gardening. Today, um, we're going to plant the sweet potato slips. Y'all know those slips have been in my basement since... <laughs> you are... You are crazy. Those um, slips have been in my basement for, this is June, March, April, oh, almost four months. Almost four months. I started them on February 11th. Um, thank you to everybody who's been following along on that journey with me. And yeah, so it's time to get them suckers out. Now, they actually don't look as good as they used to, but I think once they get into some soil, you know, city water just ain't doing it for them no more. Mm -mm. I'm gonna show you guys. Remember, I talked to you guys about propagating. Look at that, y'all. Propagating your bean plants. You see that? So, these are actually going to get planted as well. Get a girl, if you don't back up off the green stalk. Thank you. I also want to show you guys something. Because remember I was telling you how I put some bulbs in my green stalk just to see if, you know, something will happen? Something did. So we got a gladiolus bulb popped up over here. Very exciting, very exciting. I actually planted a bunch of these in the front. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to see them. But yeah, something happened. So that's the first one that has come up. And y'all also know there's cornflowers here. There's a little something there. I don't know if that's a weed or what, but we'll see. And I don't remember what I put there. Black Lily hasn't popped up yet, but I'm optimistic, y'all. I am willing to try almost anything. So, here is my sweetie pasta and I, and we are going to pull up the broccoli. I know, I know, we harvested um, the crowns that we got, and we're super grateful for them, but it's going to be in the 90s, and yeah, the, the, it, they have to go. They have to go, and I'm not going to... Um, torture them and I don't need broccoli seeds so we're gonna pull them up right yeah yeah so let's do it we are gonna eat the leaves though that's why somebody has the basket the harvest basket <laughs> so pretty my baby and um yeah so we're gonna harvest these leaves real quick and then the beans are actually going to go in the bag that they're in so the grow bag here we go all right so now so we're gonna come over here these are the the broccoli and we're just going to take these stems, we're going to pop them down here, and we're going to throw them in the basket, okay? Mm -hmm. And then after you do that, then we'll pop in the, um, the green beans. You got it, girl. You got it. <laughs> Gosh, look at all the weeds. Now, let me get the rest of this one real quick. Look, this was actually, this is a whole nother plant, y'all. That's crazy. Look. Whole nother broccoli plant. Super cool, but it has to go still. It's calendula. All right, so now, now we're going to pull these out. We're going to pull these right out. Oh, girl. All right, we need both hands for this chat. So we still got the cauliflower in here. Um, we have one, two. That one had some worms on it that I killed. Uh, three. And then there's three more in here. So four, five, six. So far, these guys are okay. Um, but these are empty, so I'm going to put the beans in one bag, and what do you think we should put in the other one? I'm not sure. Maybe throw in a pepper plant or something? Yes. Yeah? Ooh, let's put, ooh, I got a grand bell. Let's put a grand bell in here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll put beans in one and a grand bell in the other. 
take these to the um to the house? Yep. Let me get the pepper. Yes, I want you to come. All right, so the grand bell is in. The beans are in. So I also want to make room here and use this pot for something else. We got some radishes in here. So I'm going to... Ooh. It's really nice. There we go. All right. So y'all, there's no point in prolonging anything because it's about to get hot. It's about to be 90 something degrees. You need to make room for more veggies that will tolerate this kind of heat. See, I just dropped three bags of um, potatoes for my June potatoes. So 90 to 100 days, July, August, that'll be September. This will be September unless they're ready early, earlier. And then here's the May planting. They're doing really good. I just held these up. You can see here, they just, that's a whole nother plant busting through. I gotta hill these up again. And then here are the ones from April. And got some pretty flowers coming. And then some flowers coming here. Hopefully, hopefully they fruit and I can attempt to save some seeds. Wouldn't that be really cool if I can save my own potato seeds? That would be really awesome. So I'll take those in. And I'll find something else to put in this pot. All right, let's get to the sweet potatoes. Yeah, I saw me with this garlic earlier. A few of these have scapes. Look at this. That's a scape forming in the middle. And let's see if I can give, show you guys a better one. Cause I'm sure there'll be somebody saying, girl, that's just another leaf. Looky here. That. There's another scape coming up. So that's a better, better view. And that's the one we pulled earlier. This one is probably ready to go too. But no, I want to do a good garlic scape harvest. Look, see, they're popping up all over the place. So now we're going to come over here and find some herbs to plant in with the sweet potatoes. Because, you know, everything has a pest child, including sweet potatoes. And the pest for the sweet potatoes is the sweet potato weevil. Now, did I deal with them last year? No. But since, you know, I basically got hit with the plague already this year, you've got to be prepared. So I'm going to take some dill. Um... Let me see what else I have. I think I have savory. Savory is a really good one. Oh, this is lemon balm. But no. I know I'm growing savory somewhere. This is hyssop. Stay still, Dill. Don't move. Stay. What are you? Oregano. Yes, we can put some oregano in there. Hold on, y'all. I gotta, I gotta comb through this and... Ooh, cinnamon basil. I gotta comb through this and find rosemary. I didn't even know these germinated finally. I gotta find the savory, y'all. Hold on. All right, guys. So here is the sweet potato bed. I pulled up the trellising in the um, in the back here just so I can get back there and plant. So I'm gonna do that real quick off camera, and I'll show you guys in the front when I get over here. Um, everything that I'm about to do and these are the slips guys these are they made it there's some yellowing but sweet potato slips are strong and some of them were not strong but they just need to get back into some um they need to get into some soil all right so I'm going to start in the back and then I'll bring you guys back around when um when I'm ready to plant in the front okay so so far we are doing good as you can see, there is some yellowing on some of the sweet potato slips, but that's okay. Um, they'll bounce back. This is the the Japanese version, um, and then behind that, and over here, I have the Hannah White. Um, here, I have the Jules and Garnet, 
and then this whole side over here is the purple majesty and just like this I have three more here and we're gonna plant here here and here and then over here those are the slips that I do not have room for in this bed there's an event a gardening event at the school at the high school this weekend so I may take some there um, if they last they're not looking too good the junior high got a lot of the good slips okay so let's get to planting the rest of these slips and let's do our companion planting as well <clears throat> Ooh, yeah. okay so it is oof, it is really cloudy now earlier when I was out here working it was sunny and hot and I was begging for a cool breeze but it did not come and um it's gonna rain it's supposed to thunderstorm for 24 hours so I really don't have to even worry about watering any of this in but I do want to get this over with because I also have some tomatoes that I want to get in the ground as well so let's get this going so here's my sweet potato slip and I'm just going to dig a hole And I have some of my oop, some of my um, fertilizer water. That's the only thing that's watering these guys in. Mother Nature's gonna do the rest. All right, so that wasn't hard. The sweet potato slips are in. Um, let's get to the companion planting. So I have oregano, I have dill, and I have some French thyme with some tree seeds in it. We ain't gonna plant those, although they might make their way over here anyway. So we're gonna put herbs all up and through here because I don't want to deal with the sweet potato weevil or any other bug for that matter even though they're around I just I don't want the issues I've been through enough so far and I already know I already know that the cucumber beetle is on its way it's on its way guaranteed but I got something for that I am just going to randomly in random spots stick some herbs y'all Okay, so if you've been with me for a while, if you've been with me for a while, then you remember the story of the interaction or lack thereof between me and um, my neighbor up until recently. And we were supposed to be starting her garden um, together using some of my spare plants. Uh, we had a talk yesterday and she doesn't, she doesn't wanna do it guys and it's because she says she doesn't know if she's going to be here she is battling some health problems and we're, we're praying for her we're rooting for her and i would like to call on all the prayer warriors out there in youtube world to pray for her as well 
Um, I'm not going to put her name out there because I just, I want to be respectful and you never know who's watching. But um, yeah, send her some prayers. I tell her that I'm going to get, I told her that I am going to get her stuff started in some grow bags and when she's ready, I'm going to put them all in her yard. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching follow me on all my social media that's instagram that's tiktok that's facebook it's all urban girl gardening shoot me an email at the urban girl gardening at gmail.com all my information is always in the description boxes of my regular videos not my shorts you're not going to find nothing in the shorts but some hashtags in my regular long videos or should i say full length videos um, you'll find all my information from the P.O. box to the email to links to all my social media. Okay? And, yeah, that's it. The sweet potato slips are finally out of my basement and into their permanent space. So happy about it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Learn with me. Grow with me. I love y'all. For real.